up a wind turbine as you can see there it is I got it up there the poles as you can see are narrower than normal I used a rubber coupling to hold that up if you look at the antenna I also have an antenna I'm getting 112 channels free off of that antenna really a good antenna I put up there with a wind turbine now I live in a very very rural area so not having the right pole make a big difference. I can't have a pole that is just straight up. So what I have is these little four foot increments. This is army surplus. It was used for the radio tower and it's about uh, 60 foot tall. And that's about what I'm needing here. And uh, run a big uh, 10 gauge cable. I run that pipe all the way through, all the way down, serpentine to down. But it's uh, worth it because with this, I can take this up and down anytime I want. Each and a little four foot coupling, as you see, all the way up. There is my antenna wire coming down, which I run into the house onto our TV. And wow, is it doing awesome. We get a hundred and some channels off of that. I was thinking maybe 40, 50, but a hundred. It's not hooked up yet, but it's already raking power, and that's a very, very slight width. That one's turning, and the windmill is not turning. That shows you just how little wind it takes to make that work, and it's not nearly tall enough yet. I'm going to add this extra uh, four foot and put another length on it, but I think we're going to have plenty of wind to make this work. Even at that, that little light comes on up there meaning that it's generating power right now so it's really been a real success and that's just going to go down into the basin i'm going to run it to this wooden area and i run the little cable to for the uh, that's where the antenna wire goes into the house and then above the ceiling and right to the tv but uh it's really working out great and we have our own power now and i'll show you what I'm running this power into also so we can have a dynamic electrical grid on our house. This is getting very exciting.